In Douglas Hofstadter's book Gödel Escher Bach, he invents the MIU system. The symbols of the MIU formal system are M, I, and U. If we make reference to alpha or beta, these are placeholder strings which may or may not be empty. They are not part of the system. They merely stand for strings of M's, I's, and U's which are part of the system. Hofstadter gives us four rules of inference. First, from alpha I, we may infer alpha I U. Second, from M alpha, we may infer M alpha alpha. Third, from alpha I I I beta, we may infer alpha U beta. Fourth, from alpha U U beta, we may infer alpha beta. We are given a single axiom, M I, and challenged to produce the string M U. Note, every derivable string will start with M. Hofstadter even gives us this in the book. We begin with one I. Let N be the number of I's in our string and let G of N equal N mod three. All of our rules will either leave N unchanged, multiply N by two, or subtract three from N. Since we start with m i, our initial n must be 1, and since m u contains no i's, our final n must be 0. Note, if n f equals 0, then g of n f also equals 0. If g of n equals 1, then g of 2 n equals 2, and g of n minus 3 equals 1. And if g of n equals 2, then g of 2n equals 1, and g of n minus 3 equals 2. So from the mi axiom, g of n will never equal 0. The string will always contain at least one i. Therefore, mu is not derivable within the miu system from the axiom given, and Douglas Hofstadter's challenge is not possible.